Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back once again with the Orion Motor Tech 55 watt laser. Friends, we're going to cut some wood today, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, before we get started making today, when I first told you how to set it up, I mentioned this ground. It turns out in the United States, we have got good ground in most of our houses, and that ground is really for some place where the electricity is not as regulated as here. So I have disconnected this wire, and I'm not running it outside to my separate ground pole anymore. Alrighty friends, before we do any cutting, let's adjust this and make sure we've got the right focal length for our laser. They give us a tiny piece of acrylic that you can slide in between, and that is supposed to be the perfect distance for laser cutting. So, I've got that in there, I'm going to adjust a little bit, up a little bit, double check it. I'm going to adjust it a little bit more, and let's slide this under here one more time. And I'm going to go with this for our cutting for this project. Make sure you store this little piece so that you never lose it. And also, it never hurts to double check and see if maybe it wasn't set perfect from the factory. So now I'm going to take my 3D printed bed clip and lock this wood into place. Once again, these are not perfect yet, but I'm getting closer. When I do have a perfect one, I will post it to Thingiverse so that you guys can 3D print it if you want it as well. All right, friends, I may have mentioned I have got a Glowforge Plus and we've got this new Orion Motor Tech laser. So I'm doing conversions between what I learned for the Glowforge and what I'm learning for Lightburn and the Orion Motor Tech laser cutter. All right, so Lightburn is amazing. Uh, you can actually design in Lightburn where essentially the Glowforge, unless you pay for premium, you were doing all your designing elsewhere. So I am gonna draw a rectangle and I want it to be relatively small. I'm gonna tell it to be 20 by 20. If you type in your measurements, it snaps to the size you want. Notice it locked the proportions. I want them to both be 20, so I just unlocked that, and now it'll stay. When you drag these, if you go to a corner, it stretches. If you get on the line, you can actually move the shape. All right, so I'm going to take my little rectangle, make sure it's close to that left edge where I put the wood. I want to set my speed at 70 millimeters per second. And I'm going to start with a power of 60, which is below the max. And then I want my passes to be 6. Now this is some plywood. I don't know its exact nature, but that does make it a little tougher to cut. All right, so of all the dumb things, I accidentally deleted the footage of that cutting in the laser. But let me show you on the next part just how awesome it worked with this keychain. Alrighty friends, so now we have cut our square. Let's make an awesome keychain. I'm gonna drag out another rectangle. Uh, my measurements, I always demand that you do 70 by 25. When you press enter, it'll look like that. I'm gonna grab that line. Remember, you get right on the line. And let's go close to where our other one was. We're gonna stay with the black settings where it was 70 speed. We're gonna do six passes at 60 power. I liked that. Now we can simply add our words. I'm gonna click inside here and I'm gonna put HL Mod Tech, capitalizing where I want, picking a font I think is cool. I had Arial rounded. I'm gonna move down and let's find something kind of fancy dancy. I like Cooper Black. I'm gonna switch back to the rectangle tool. Let's scroll in with the scroll wheel, get those edges so they're inside the shape. I want to leave room for the connecting of the uh, keychain hole. I am going to stretch that a little higher. And I think I'm going to put the hole right in the middle here. I'm going to use different settings for this marking. Now one of the cool things about Lightburn is that these settings stay permanent. So I'm going to check this one. It's 150 speed and 20. I'm going to actually change it to 250, and then I'm going to keep the blue locked at that. I do want one pass, and I want it to be fill and line. I think I'm actually going to change that to 10. I mean, back it up just a smidge more. So that'll be my blue setting, and then I need to make the circle. I'm going to lock these dimensions. I'm going to hold down shift, and when I cut my hole, if you hold shift, see how it stays circle-like? And then I want to make it size 5. So if I type 5 here, they both snap to 5. And then I can move that to the location where I want to cut out my keychain hole, leaving enough wood on both sides so that it cuts well. I'm going to switch to red. 
those settings are currently 70 speed, 60 power, and 4 passes, which I think will cut that circle just dandy. Alright, so my camera's in place on the phone, and now let's adjust it, hit a couple frames. I'm going to get rid of that piece, and let's get it aligned for cutting. I like that, and let's hit start. So let's see what we made. There you can see, with a little nudge, we can push that little piece out of there. And friends, we have got a sweet HL Montec keychain. How cool is that? Alrighty friends, so there you have it, an epic little keychain in just a few minutes. Cutting wood then on my Glowforge was always frustrating. Gotta love that. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.